a quick hands-on look at iOS 10.2 Beta 3. The initial 10.2 Beta brought about a new full screen effect, but now in 10.2 Beta 3, there's a brand new full screen effect, and that is the love effect. Yes, the love effect. It's a heart, just like that. It's basically a heart balloon, like a Mylar balloon. And the animation is really cool. The balloon is being inflated and it kind of floats off into space here. Um, there's actually reflections that you can see from your message bubbles. So you have that reflection just like on a real Mylar balloon. Pretty cool stuff. Now, of course, the TV app is here, but the difference is the TV app on iOS 10.2 Beta 3 outright replaces the old videos app. Um, so you can see the settings for the TV app here. And I actually didn't make a video of the last beta which introduced the TV app, so we'll just briefly walk through it here. Of course, you can access all of your TV shows, all of your purchased iTunes movies and everything, just like with the videos app. And you have, of course, the buttons at the bottom of the app for store and for search, but the real big one is the watch now button. And this allows you to connect with other apps installed on your iPhone so that you can pull in all that content and basically it will aggregate the content from participating apps like the CW app. So at the very top, you see what I was previously watching and I can continue that if I wish to do so. There's also top TV shows. It's gonna list all the top shows within the CW app. If I tap a show, you can see how it's nicely laid out there in a very consistent and easy to navigate interface that's gonna look the same across all of the participating content providers. And of course, you can access content from other locations. And when you wanna actually watch a show, it's gonna take you out to the app where that show was found. Now, the videos app, although no longer installed, quote unquote, you can still quickly access that and reinstall it or basically re-enable it from the app store. So if you want that videos app back with home sharing, which the new TV app doesn't yet have, then you can do so. There's also TV provider, which was available in the last beta. We did a video on that. And the feedback app has returned, which makes it easy to provide Apple with feedback about the iOS beta experience. And this is something from the last beta that I wasn't able to show in a previous video, but now you can access quick shuffle and repeat buttons right from the nail plane interface, which is just really cool. So I wanted to mention that again. So ladies and gentlemen, that has been a look at iOS 10.2 beta three. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. This is Jeff, 9to5Mac.